Hi everyone. I just wanted to come and show you a different method of using the Angelina Fusion Fantasy Fusible Films or whatever they want to call themselves. Now, you've seen me use a candle and that's made some really lovely effects, but I want to use a, um, a nice gentle heat gun or an embossing gun. And so I don't mean one of those like really blast out lots of heat heat guns, um, not an industrial one, because you don't want to melt this stuff. So what I'm going to do, um, these are two pieces that fell on the floor and I couldn't then remember what colours they were. I think this is copper fire, I think, and I think this is blue pearl, but don't quote me on that. Um, and because I couldn't find the um, correct place to put them, I thought, just use them as a sort of test so there we go my mistake is our good fortune isn't it so I'm going to start with this one which may or may not be copper fire now as you can see against a black background it's already quite a nice color a nice effect it, in different lights it changes it becomes green and copper and then up against a slightly different light it looks a bluey kind of color now I'm going to how am I going to do this? I am going to use two pairs of twi uh, yeah, two tweezers and hold it like so in front of the heat gun. So I've got the heat gun on a slightly higher up ledge, um, some other piece of stuff that I'm working on, and I'm going to kind of hold it like this. So when, when the heat gun goes on, you're not going to be able to hear me. So this is why I'm kind of giving you a a head start. I don't want to use my hands because this could get quite hot and I don't really want to hurt myself or encourage you to injure yourselves. So this is going to be my plan. <laughs> Shall we see if it works? Right, so it's going to get loud. Please bear with me. <laughs> Okay, I've turned off the heat gun because that was just going everywhere and that was not working for me. So I'm rethinking, that's as far as I got, I'm rethinking that I'm going to be quite brave and I'm going to do this. So can you see I'm, I'm going to just hold it ever so gently with my finger there and I'm gonna use the heat gun like this. And then this board is gonna stop it blowing away. Now, what I could also do is have it down. In fact, why don't I just do that? Why am I being silly? Why don't I just have it down? Oh my word. Oh, send me brain cells, people. I'll have it down like that. And I will, um, thinking should I weight it down with something but I don't really know what I've got to weight it down with so I will use my finger okay we're learning as we go all right ready this is going to get loud again Now then, let me just see. I want to do this side a little bit as well. So here we go.
Can you see that? Is that is that showing on the screen? Let me move this. Look at that. That's like steak skin or dragon skin, isn't it? So that's just with one piece. Let's try that with this one because this one might have even more spectacular colours. So let me move you back over here somewhere safe. And um, let's get the heat gun again. You ready? Oh, ignore all this. Here we go. Where it kind of folded over, I got this gorgeous streak. So I'm wondering if I should scrunch it a little bit. That was probably rather pathetic, but let's see what happens now. I hurt my hand then, I got too hot to the heat gun, too close to the heat gun. But look what happens when you sort of make it overlap itself. Mm. So you can see where I got too close because it, it's um, wafted up. And you really don't want to get too close with your hand near it because that is quite intense heat. But again, let's move you over here to a better light. Look at that. So when we first had this, it just looked like a bluey colour. And now it's got all of those beautiful colours in it. Look at that. So this is with the heat gun. You can then also run this under the iron using some, you know, just put it in between some parchment paper and put the iron on its lowest setting and then you might get it a little bit flatter. But once it's done fusing, it's done fusing. It can't fuse anymore if that makes sense. So if you'd layered this, you might have got some even more intense pictures. Um, uh, designs I think it's lovely and I can just imagine that going into um, a piece of jewelry maybe if you're doing dragon key rings or skulls that would look gorgeous this is a piece of um, Angelina Fusion film that I merged together I think it was two different colors that I used the candle for and I got those lovely colors with a, um, a black background so this, but it's, it's really lovely to see it with the heat gun. And just, just for fun, I'm just going to layer those two together. Look at that. Look at all the colours in those two put together. If I'd fused them together, I wonder what colours and patination I would have got. But individually, this one, which I'm not entirely sure, but I think it's blue pearl. It might not be. And this one, which again, I'm not entirely sure, but I think is copper fire. That's the results using a heat gun.